Morning and welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. There's been some lovely posts on Facebook in the last couple of days with tour brochures and programmes being shown, signed ones and unsigned ones. So uh, what I thought I'd do today is just go through some of the ones that are in my collection. Um, there, are, there are differing ones. There's obviously the official ones that open to the public and there's ones that uh, the players had with the itinerary and all that sort of stuff in it. So a uh, bit of a diverse collection, but I'd like to start with the MCC ones, and my earliest one, rather tatty I've got to say, is this one here, which is 1911-12 MCC Tour to Australia, and this is for the Melbourne Test Match. Um, there's obviously normal sort of thing in there with um, player profiles in there. Uh, there's, there's Victor there. Um, this is virtually uh, on its last leg, this one, but it's still holding together. Um, Warwick Armstrong there. So there's some nice... Bits and pieces in here. There's a nice um, advert there for the Cathedral Hotel. Uh, Flinders Lane. Um, and there's a um, scorecard there. A souvenir scorecard all taped together. Uh, Foster, Hobbs, Rhodes and Woolley, etc. SF Barnes. Um, so that's quite a nice uh, little tour brochure for the 1911-12 tour. But um, obviously in a bit of a sorry state, but great uh, history to that. Then go on for a few more MCC ones. This one here is uh, Visit the MCC to South Africa in 1931, which is a nice uh, little tour brochure with all the pen pictures in the inside there. And also got the itinerary of where they're playing. They did play quite a few matches on this tour, I have to say. The old, the old tours obviously did uh, all the stakes and what have you. Um, so it ended up quite a few uh, matches. So before the first test here, there's the itinerary. And before the first test, they played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine matches before the first test match. So it's quite a way to get acclimatised to the country. And on the back of there is the uh, MCC signed signatures there of the team. Captain Boy. Um, uh, APF Chapman that's a nice tour brochure there uh, next one this one is the uh, MCC Tour to Australia 1928 um, in there is uh, all the who's who and the, the match results because this is the last one produced actually on the um, Ron, uh, Ormond D going home or the Ormond whatever way you like to pronounce it so it's a nice 1928 uh, tour brochure there. Um, and a great tour for the MCC, obviously, with a 4 1 victory. Uh, next one there is the MCC 1936 37. Um, unfortunately, not signed, but it's a lovely, you know, got the who's who, one of you in there, of the players. And once again, the uh, the Orion, which they sailed out on, um, which is a nice photograph there. And there's the team. There, so it's quite a nice little publication. This one printed on board ship, mainly these. Um, so it's a nice, a nice tour brochure on that one. So we're going to the Australian ones now, um, which is the first one I've got is the 1930 tour, um, Australia English tour 1930. And this one was actually stamped in Hobart, so they, they went from um, Australia to Tasmania to play and then back over to. Um, the mainland Australia and then on to England so uh, this is one that was showed on the um, internet this week so lovely tour brochure there the one that was uh, shown the sign but I've got the sign ship so I'm not overly worried about having the uh, sign brochure but it would be nice but uh, might cost a bit and then uh, next one this one here 1938 tour I've got a 1934 one but um, I'll show you those in a minute 1938 tour brochure this one this one is actually fully signed so you've got nice ones there um the mcdonald and uh, mcdonald mccormick rather sorry and bill o'reilly and obviously captain for his first tour was uh the mighty don and there's his signature there nice signature there on don and uh, vice captain stan mccabe so uh, a nice Tour brochure there. I'm just seeing if they've got the itinerary in the back there. Don't do the itinerary in this one. I used to do. Australian 11 li list of fixtures, so it's quite a nice uh, 
one to have. You can tick your fixtures off that you've been installed. I went and see rather, do you know what I'm saying? Sorry for the uh, bad English there. Uh, next one we've got 1953 here. Well, no, sorry, 1948, which is uh, a player issue. Signed by, well, it's nearly all the team were there, but unfortunately a couple of them have, uh, have faded, but um, that's life, I suppose, with these uh, ink signatures. But uh, again, there's another nice itinerary and whatever you in here. Map of England and um, Wales there, and Scotland, where they played the matches. Um, their base in London was the Piccadilly Hotel. A couple of nice ones, or a nice one here, 1953 English tour. This is the Arthur Mailey uh, caricatures. There's uh, Lindsay Hassett there. Quite a nice tour brochure, this one. And who we got on there? We've got Don Don Talon, May Limble. Be nice to get that all signed. But um this is quite a nice uh who we got on this one? Richie Benno there, 1953. So quite a nice uh good condition tour brochure there. This one, another one fully signed. This is a 1961 Australian team. PO Orient Lines. When they come over, um, this gives you the, where they left there the, on the Himalaya. There's a nice uh, centrefold. Well, there's some there's some signatures there. Look of the some of the players fully signed this one, which is a very pleasing thing to have, I have to say. And there's a lovely photograph there of the Himalaya with uh, facsimile signatures in. So somewhere on the line that is uh, one to get. I do have the. Uh, passenger list for that so that's some australian ones there's some more other australian ones here this is 1960 1968 i think this one uh, 1968 tour brochure there um someone's written on the back of the team's england so it's obviously a, you get that on the ground all day so quite a nice thing a bit i uh, know well, it's not very big but it was the sort of program you just want and want to have with all the pen pictures in it not these new fangled glossy things that um, are full of adverts, which are, I've stopped collecting those now. So that's a nice one there, 1968. And again, 1953 one here. This is put together by Peter West. This is a sort of a general jobby um, with all the team fixtures in and what have you in it. The history of the ashes and uh, it's just some nice little um, compilations in there. Um, McDonald and J.M. Gregory there. Putting a bit into a later edition. Test records, facts. There's a Brill Queen boy there who is uh, Godfrey Evans this time. Uh, he signed a few of the England players up. That's a nice tour brochure there. And there's a 1948 one here. These are sort of general copies. Um, quite nice fixtures, records and photographs of players. Compiled and edited by A.W. Simpson. I'll read on the front there. And there's a nice um, that on the back there. So different photographs of all the different teams that have toured. Um, we've got here. So there's a body line tour there. So there's uh, quite a lot of information in these uh, little booklets. This one here is 1938 one, which is quite a nice, good condition one. Um, again, similar type of thing to the uh, the last one. I saw this one there is 1921 side. There's photographs of uh, generally most of the teams that toured Australia and England. So uh, quite nice. There's uh, England captains. And there, look, there's uh, Gilligan, Chapman, Jardine, Gubby Allen, and Douglas. So, so plenty of information in these little booklets. Uh, 1931 here. Again, with uh, lovely pen pictures, um, sort of a sepia type, copper print type um, photographs in these. Um, what have we got at the front? And there's Don and Ted Beckett there at the front. There's film available of these uh, players on their tour coming over. So that's quite a nice, nice brochure with uh, um, someone's written all the results in there. WG Grace there looking on. So quite a nice uh, 1930s one, and this is a 1934 one, souvenir programme. 
Okay, you've got the same sort of thing, but uh, you've got Lords and Sydney cricket around there. There was uh, panoramics. And uh, on the back, we've got the Langham. Selection committees choose the Langham, probably for their meetings, I imagine. That's quite a nice set from the Australian lot there. So I'm just going to go on to a different one here, which is uh, Commonwealth 11. Um, I'm just trying to see the day. I think it's 58, I think, this one. Um, yeah, can't quite see the date on it, actually. But um, Dennis Compton's 11 there. It's a big star man there, so quite a nice one there. And the Westminster 8 uh, advert on the back. Um, nice centre fold there. Picture there of who we got there, Transvaal Curry Cup team there. So quite a nice uh, brochure. Let me just find the. Um, I just can't see the date on these ones, but uh, I think it's nineteen fifty-eight. Uh, no doubt, somebody will be screaming down the phone. It's blah 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 blah. Anyway, so next to uh, New Zealand, it's a nice one here, nineteen forty-nine. There's two in 1949s actually. Um, got some nice uh, photographs here. New Zealand cricket team 1931. Um, again, similar sort of stuff. Some plenty of information there on the players and what's happened over the years for New Zealand cricket team. Uh, another 1949 one there. New Zealand tour. Got a nice uh, brochure there. There's John Reed there and uh, DJ Scott. So some nice things there, and on the back there we've got another Simpson advert. Um, and a nice one here, 1931 tour brochure, which is a lovely copy, this one. Um, got the players there, it's tall, but there. Quite a lovely, lovely old prints of the, of the players in this one. Uh, I'll just show you another couple of those. Uh, we've got the, there's Casey, James and, and Kerr there. A lovely, lovely photographs in these, so quite pleased with that. Uh, we've got New Zealand lamb advert on the back there, so Mr Thompson will be interested in the New Zealand lamb, I expect, after what he's eaten today. Uh, now another nice one here is um, the New Zealand Women's Cricket Tour 1954, which is a lovely condition. Um, with, their, with some players there, Molly Hyde and Mary Duncan. Um, there's a New Zealand team. There we are, she's playing their skirts in those days. Uh, Joan Hatcher, Joan Francis, Penny Jones, Joy Lamerson. Um, who's that? Verna Coots, Jean Coulston, Joyce Clothier, Betty Butler. That's uh, quite a nice, extremely good condition tour brochure for the ladies team. Sporting advert on the back. And then the last few here at the moment is um, some West Indies ones. This one, the 1957 tour. Got a few signatures in this one, which is quite a nice scene. It's uh, cricket centres of the West Indies. There's a map there for they play cricket in the West Indies. Um, some, again, some pen pictures and what have you there of the team. Um, some nice photographs there. So... Ramad in there, I can see. So that's a nice, not nice tour brochure there for West Indies. Uh, 1939 West Indies tour. Uh, that's a nice one here. Official souvenir 6D. Um, Grafton Hotel on the back there. And then again, some lovely. Um, there's a Stolmeyer Brothers there. Pen pictures, Trinidad and Tobago. And there's a foot cricket grounds there. So some nice. Clothing and who's that there? Leary Constantine, the great Leary Constantine in the brochure 1939. One last one now is the West Indies 1966 official tour brochure edited by Gordon Ross. So we've got some great photographs there Griffiths and Hall there, that there, fastest no doubt. Um, quite big pin pictures these. So you've got the great Gary Sobers. Tour Captain, 1966. That's uh, another nice tour brochure there. We've got Rothman's King size on the back of this one. So, uh, nice colourful front there with the, the greatest player there. Um, Gary Sobers, greatest all-rounder anyway. So, nice, fit, nice uh, uh, 
a collection there of uh, official um, tour brochures. So anyway, that's about it for today. I hope the test match goes really well today and I hope that England play to how they've been playing in the last couple of test matches. So it should be a great day to cricket today. Um, so anyway, I'll just do what, what the other um, um, podcast viewers do and say, if you like this video, press subscribe and like. Anyway, catch you later. Cheers.